here. I was living in New York City, right? And I hooked up with a fireman, right? Yeah, yes, girl, yes. She gave me the face and I was like, uh-huh, bitch, that right. Uh, yes. Like the straight up like FDNY, New York's bravest. She, he had the like calendar hot thing, that like blonde crew cut and that thick ass 70s chips mustache they always have. I don't know why they always have a mustache. That shit is so flammable, but they're just like, I don't care. I'm a white guy running toward danger, you know? I don't give a fuck. Like if they could fight fires in cargo shorts and Birkenstocks, they'd do it because they're white dudes, right? So anyway, he totally had like the entire look. And I was like, this is like a bucket list situation. We are doing this, right? So we go home together, everything's great. And like, we're taking off clothes, right? And I like take off a shirt and then suddenly I am face to face with a huge 9-11 memorial tattoo. Yes, it was gigantic, y'all, okay. There were like twin towers here. You could see every fucking window in the towers and everything. There was a fireman kneeling in silhouette like this, right? Like never forget emblazoned on a banner up here, you know? And like, look, I did live in New York on 9-11, okay? I'll never forget either. But like, could I forget for the next 45 minutes? Like, mm, nothing dries a girl up like 9-11, guys. <laughs> just too plain, just poof, you know? Um, haha, that means it's not too soon. Okay, sweet. So, I, so, right? So I'm sitting there like staring at this thing like, uh, and he can tell I'm weirded out, right? And he starts saying all this amazing stuff. He's like, oh my God, you are so beautiful. I would do anything for you. I would love to suck another guy's cock for you. I, 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 I don't need that done. That's cool. Could you like maybe fix the toilet or something? I don't, I don't need that done. Thank you. Um, no, okay, look, to be fair to him, he did this thing that guys will sometimes do with you, right? When you're like getting hot and heavy and they pull this thing where they're like, what's your fantasy? Tell me your fantasy. I want to know your fantasy. And they get all boy band about it. They're like, tell me your fantasy, girl. You tell me your fantasy. <laughs> Dude, ladies, if you ever hear this shit, Guys, do not want to know your fantasy, okay? <laughs> they want you to share your little bullshit rinky-dink fantasy with them so that they then have permission to share with you their huge three-ring circus passion play of a fantasy. And there's like a dwarf and a chimp and fire and a clown on a bike and a script. He's been working on since he was 15, like Miramax has got an option of rights to it. It's so intricate. So like... <laughs> You know, like, I didn't have a fantasy at the time. I was like, well, I guess it would have been fucking a fireman, but you kept talking, so I gotta put on something else, right? 